clothes shopping. I want to impress ladies. All the best clothes I own were all picked out by women. For whatever reason my guy friends just don't seem to have the same eye for it as my women friends. Every time I've gone shopping with a woman they've almost always been spot on with their suggestions for what would look good. Choosing a gift for another woman. Huh? What's wrong with the usual sequins and tassels? Buying clothes and home decoration, also booking holidays. Why? Orgasms. I was going to say my penis, but this covers it nicely. Change a house from bachelor pad to an actual house. When my wife met me I had a queen mattress on the floor. Now I've got rugs, hand, face towels, soap for hands and one for dishes, conditioner and not using all in ones. The mattress is still on the floor? Taking pictures of myself. For me it's the opposite. I take great pictures of everyone around me, but photos of me look like shit because others can't take good pictures. Shopping. Women do be shopping. GPS voice. Except when it's sweet Anita, then you have to keep turning left and you end up as a NASCAR driver. Pretend to be my girlfriend when I go to Nan's house. She's openly homophobic. My best friend was my gay brother's girlfriend in high school. We grew up in a shitty little two-horse town. He didn't want to be hurt or killed for being gay. She didn't want to end up in the back seat of some guy's car and emerge from it pregnant at 16. There are very few recreational activities for young people. It worked well for both of them. When they ended the relationship, they were both sad. During the course of fake dating, they had developed a real friendship. We're all in our 60s now, and they are best friends to this day. Remove a stain. They always know what products to use. You should pick up some Folex. Available on Amazon, and also Home Depot sells it in a gallon size. I buy the quart size bottles on Amazon because they come with a spray head attachment. It's not expensive. It's labeled as a carpet cleaner, but you can use it on essentially everything. It's safe for clothes and stuff. Use it like you would shout, a la spot treat stains before throwing them in the washing machine. It's amazing. It'll get damn near anything out of damn near anything. I've used it to get coffee out of the carpet, baby spit up off the couch, red wine off the couch, young child vomit off her comforter, dog pee out of the car upholstery. And many, many poop stains out of baby clothes. BTW I'm a guy. Home design. We men are okay to live in a cement box with a couch and a TV with our game consoles all over the floor. Every woman I've known even if they don't think so, have been masters at making a room look good. IDK might be sexist but I am just impressed at how the women I know can match colors perfectly. And can make anything visually look pleasing. Don't worry. I think anyone who clicked on this thread had to suspend their sexist alarm at the door. Otherwise, what are we even doing here? Medical ed trouble. No idea why I'd prefer a woman doctor to this or a nurse but yeah, not for creepy reasons just never felt comfortable pulling it out in front of other dudes. Did you fix the issue? Honestly? Personal training. Every woman PT I've worked with has had to really know her shit. Whereas multiple dudes have gotten by by looking buff and shouting encouragement, essentially. Emotional support. Same, though when I've had emotional support from a guy, it hits different. Edit. Removed because I'm getting too many notifications. I just posted my response, but it's basically basically same thing. I was abused by a guy when I was younger. So I have trust issues with other men and just can't open up like I can with a woman as my therapist. A doctor. I find I can talk better to a female doctor. Even more intimate stuff that I have needed I felt more comfortable with a female doctor. Interesting. I've had both male and female doctors over the past few years as I've had to move a few times. I have really seen a difference in comfort levels except for when I had some something I needed checked out with my manhood. I was still quite embarrassed but was glad I had a female doctor when that happened. Plot twist. She had to have a second person be in the room by office policy. So we had a minor party as she checked out my junk. Needless to say I was quite embarrassed. When I am looking for advice to talk to my crush. Edit. Just for clarification I do not have a crush currently. Fucking terrible idea. The one that got away did because I listened to my female friend. Dot. Don't be like me. Don't ask a fish how to fish. 
Help to pick a gift for someone cause they tend to choose a good stuffs. Candles and soaps, son. It's all about that fragrance nose. Oh God, everything. Shopping for clothes, making dinner, design, writing. Maybe it's just the fact that I share a lot of things with my mom, and she helps me out a lot. Thanks mom. Please give your mom a big long hug for me. Massages. I get massages but I would never want a man to massage me. I think it moved. Mental health. I find it easier to open up to women than to my fellow men. Anything where that woman knows better than a specific man. If I can choose who helps me, I will choose the better skilled person, regardless of gender. Testicle examinations, lol. But seriously, women tend to be much better and less dismissive doctors. I'll second this but, for a different reason. I've had a few doctors examine my junk and the male doctors have always left me in a bit of pain. Which seems weird to me. I would think other men would be more aware of how sensitive testicles are but the female doctors I've had have been far more gentle with them. Voice coach. Vocal coach here. Wouldn't you prefer someone with a similar register to you? In my experience the gender of the coach makes very little difference as long as they're competent. If I was a single father of a daughter I would like the help of a close friend to help her and from a woman's perspective talk to her about a woman's special time and help explain to her what's happening to her body as it goes through puberty. Weird scenario I know. I'm not a father at all but I'd imagine something like that is something a woman is far more qualified to talk to a young girl than a man is. I do hope have a family one day and if I ever have daughters I hope with all my heart they have their mother around to be there for them for something I believe would be quite scary for a young girl to face for the first time in her life. No actually that makes sense. Those talks are awkward enough as it is, so having someone the same gender who can relate to those things is generally better. This thread has reminded me to never come to this sub for advice. The sub is just full of lonely men who are scared of other men. That's not fair. We're scared of women too.